I have um, had the pleasure of working for Lockheed Martin for 21 years. Uh, I started with a company in systems engineering as an engineer on the shop floor and uh, work my, th my way through a variety of experiences with the company and now I lead our diversity and inclusion initiatives across the entire corporation. I'm very excited about the work that Lockheed Martin is doing with our HBCUs. It is extremely important that Lockheed Martin is investing in our youth, uh, not just K through 12, but also when we think about what's happening at our higher education uh, institutions. And so Lockheed Martin has made a strong commitment to three pillars in working with our HBCUs. The first one is branding, so ensuring that we are connecting with the deans of the universities, that we're working directly with uh, the organizations student-run organizations to help them understand what Lockheed, what we are, who we are, and what we do. The second pillar is around engagement, and so we've developed executive sponsors for each of the HBCUs that we partner with. And so part of that role is to come out, evaluate what's happening at the HBCUs, participate, spend time with the deans, spend time with the students, really to see where our investment's going. And then the last of that is recruiting. It's extremely important that we're working with the universities to ensure that students, when they graduate, they have opportunities at companies like Lockheed Martin. Lockheed Martin has provided a lot of support to a lot of organizations here at Morgan State University. I know they supply a lot of funds for freshman weekend, as well as doing orientation class for, for, for professional development. And we just kind of want to make sure that they understand that we want to kind of you know, help push their brand here at Morgan State University. We had a great opportunity to really engage um, with the president of the university, President Wilson, had an opportunity to really talk about why our partnership is very important, not just to the university, but also to Lockheed Martin. And so we had an opportunity to really talk about, you know, what's important when we think about the demographics of the country. Where are we going? What does this look like? And how can Lockheed Martin engage? And then we had a uh, check ceremony where we made a, a nice contribution to the university and really and truly that contribution goes to really supporting introducing women and girls to engineering, ensuring that freshmen and sophomore have scholarships to help them become part of this university. We can actually see the fruits of our labor and so that was an, a great opportunity to really engage. We ended the day with a, a, an opportunity to really talk with students that have benefited from Lockheed Martin's engagement. Um, whether it be through the funding that we've provided, whether it's through the recruiting efforts, getting internships with Lockheed Martin, um, and really just getting an opportunity to hear from them directly. The thank you to companies like Lockheed Martin for their support. We don't necessarily see this engineering role model in the community. We see, you know, football players and we see the basketball players. And those are great roles too, but I want to see the scientists. I want to see those that, you know, made a difference and created a patent, you know, that, that our students can really see the possibility. I understand the importance of not only developing the talent, but retaining talent. And I understand what it takes to be a successful engineer in a company. Lockheed Martin believes in STEM talent, and we believe in giving back, and that's very important.